Hi everyone. Finally jumping online and gonna do that um, orange, brown, blue mix that I had posted on that everybody voted for, so I appreciate it. It's this one right here. So lots of fun mixes with oranges and adding some brown and blue in there. I think that's gonna be really fun. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And I'll show you all the colors I'm using. Um, but I'm going to start with a base of Splurge Cream with Victorious. It's a real simple, like, new color for me. So it gives me a nice, like, base to build color on. So I'm going to put that on my eyelid first. You could use eye primer, too. Either way. I'm really excited about this look. I think it's a great one that you guys voted for. Really exciting. Now for my lips to match the look, I used a little bit of Spry, I believe. Yes, yeah, Spry. Uh, liquid Splash. It's a liquid lipstick. It has a nice orange tone to it. And I think it would go really well with the makeup look. Okay. I got a nice base of splurge cream on. Now we're gonna have to build up like this orange brown color. It's quite a few layers of color. So I'm gonna walk you guys through each color that I use. I'm gonna grab an angle brush. And the first orange that I'm gonna start with is going to be Witty, which is a lighter orange. I'm going to use an angle brush and I'm going to turn it this way so that I can put it on the eyelid like this and it'll blend easier. And I'm going to put this right in the crease and blend up towards the brow bone, but I'm not going all the way up. This is going to be like the first orange color that we're putting on for this look. Super excited. There we go. Move over to the other eye. And we'll clean up the edges too when we get to a brow highlight. All right, now I'm going to take a the same angle brush and I'm going to pick up a different orange. This one's a little brighter or a little darker, I should say. This one's called Lively. It's more pigmented orange. I'm going to blend a little bit of that, a little bit of that into the crease, but I'm not going to blend it quite as high. It's just going to give a little bit more depth. To that orange color. There we go. All right, now we got to incorporate some browns in here and grab my big palette here. And let's pick a nice dark brown to go with this. I think Gullible is probably going to be good. That or Marvelous, although Marvelous might be a little dark. It's going to be these two. I think I'm going to start with Gullible and see if it's dark enough. If it's dark enough, great. If not, we'll grab um, Marvelous. So I'm going to take a crease brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. We're going to start with Gullible, see how well that works with the orange. And I'm just focusing in the crease area. Almost doing a full halo here. Not quite dark enough, so I'm going to grab Marvelous. Very little of it. We don't want to go too dark with the brown. I'm 
And we're just blending that into the crease area. Did you just like that? Same for the other eye here. All right, I'm going to take our awesome blending brush. And I'm just going to soften that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Put that on a quick brow highlight, and then we'll finish up the look with the blue. I'm going to grab some Optimistic because it's my go-to. With an angle brush, this is an easy, like, quick way to do a brow highlight. Um, there's millions of ways, but this is a quick one that I do. Do a quick swipe with an angle brush, and then turn it sideways and blend. And that helps clear up that line and blend it. I almost feel like I want to darken up that orange a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that. I feel like that orange needs to pop just a little bit more. So I'm going to grab some more Witty, which was that lighter orange that we used. Just with a crease brush. I'm just going to touch up that orange very lightly. Real light. All right, now in the picture, it does show that they do a lower lash color. They have orange on one side, on the inside, and then blue in the middle. So we will get to that after we lay down some blue. All right, I need to find my deluxe brush. And we're going to pick up a super, like, high-pigmented metallic blue called Thankful. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love this blue. And this is going to go with a deluxe brush, and we're just focusing on the eyelid portion here. And a little bit does go a long way with Thankful. It's a very high pigmented blue. So you don't need to go and load up your brush real crazy, which I love. All right. So now I'm going to switch back over to my crease brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Lively, which was that darker orange that we used. And I'm going to bring that down in the lower lash. And then from the tear duct towards the middle, because we're going to put that blue in the middle. Clean up my brush a little bit. And then we're going to use the same crease brush to pick up some Thankful. That's going to go right in the middle right here. Just like that. All right, 
right, we're ready for some eyeliner. I'm gonna grab precision pencil, perfect. I'm gonna throw on some black eyeliner. Blending here a little bit. All right. All right. Let's seal the deal with some epic mascara. I think this looks pretty fun because it incorporates like some fall colors in there, but it still keeps it kind of fun for summer with that bright blue. It's a good transition look. Mascara on, and there we go. We have a fun fall look with a little bit of bright pigment color in there for summer. Like I said, really good transition look. I love it. I think you guys picked a great one to vote on, and it won. So I'm excited to try it. I do like it. Um, and then we'll definitely post some more options so you guys can vote for the next look. All right, thank you guys.